I'd like to start off uh, by saying, um, you know, that I have a tremendous amount of gratitude uh, to Mike Babcock for, for coming here, uh, laying the foundation for what we had, uh, wanted to accomplish. I uh, did a, a fantastic job, and as I said in our release, uh, his work ethic every day and his commitment um, was fantastic. So I really appreciated him coming here. Uh, it was unfortunate to have the conversation we did today. Uh, I'm speaking here now because Kyle is talking uh, to the players and uh, Kyle has handled uh, the rest of the staff and, and basically uh, uh, communication through the rest of the organization and, and now, like I said, uh, with the players. But uh, it wasn't an easy conversation to have and it wasn't uh, pleasant, um, uh, days like today or not, uh, but it was what we felt was uh, important for the club and something once you realize that there's something that you uh, should do and have to do, then it's best to act on it. How did you reach that decision? You know, I, I think it's just been something that you've been, you watch and you've been monitoring for a while and Kyle and I are in constant communication. I think that um, it really just came down to the last, uh, last couple of weeks and uh, it got to the point where, you know, we, we spoke in the last 48 hours and again, uh, I, I just felt that it was something that needed to be done and, and Kyle felt the same way. So. Uh, seeing as I had uh, been the one that hired Mike, I thought that it was very important for me to get on a plane this morning and fly here and face Mike and uh, be with Kyle to tell him uh, myself that we had made a, a decision together that uh, we thought was in the best interest of the club. So if he said a set of foundations in front of him, we'd argue against that. Why, what was missing for the team to get the next step? Well, I, I think that's the magic question. I think that, you know, we feel that we've, uh, we haven't played up to our expectations this year. Uh, I think that that um, there are key elements to our game and some attention to detail that has been missing uh, often this year. Um, and so, uh, you know, the players know that whenever a, a situation like this occurs, it, it, it does have an impact on the players. Um, but our game is not really meeting our expectations. We're, we're, we're mistake prone on defense. Uh, the attention to details aren't there. And, even the offense that our team, the explosive offense our team has, was known for, has been missing uh, for a while now. So there's a lot of work for Sheldon to do, and there's a lot of work for the players to do, and they understand that. But we really believe in them. We believe in the players that we have here. Uh, we believe in Sheldon, obviously, in uh, making this decision. Um, and so we're still optimistic that we're going to get it back on track. Why, why Sheldon? Well, I think Sheldon's earned it. I, I think if you look at Sheldon's track record, uh, the players, uh, the amount of players that play on the Toronto Maple Leafs that have played with Sheldon, for Sheldon, with the Marlies, uh, the job he's done in developing players for us that were some early uh, draft picks, some very late round draft picks, um, and then just his success. I mean, he's had success basically everywhere he's coached since he started coaching. So uh, I think if you look around at lots of options and all the different options that are there, uh, and you look at someone who's been in an organization for quite some time now and had a lot of success and won a championship and knows these players uh, very, very well, um, it's a situation where he's earned it. Brendan, how important might a different message be for, for this team at this time? Well, we, we know how competitive the league is and we know how difficult it is uh, each and every night. So, uh, you know, like I said, when you, when you feel that the right decision... Uh, when you, when you think that you know what the right decision is, you have to act on it. And I, I think that waiting at this point would, uh, would have just been the wrong thing. So uh, that's why we, I flew in today, and uh, Kyle and I had the conversation with Mike. What did you feel like question, Kyle's Kyle? relationship factor into this? I don't know what you mean. Well, there's a perceived difference of opinion about the way the team would want to be played or be built. Or... Oh, oh, I mean, I'm perceived. I, I, I think that... I think that there's a lot of things that get perceived, and I obviously um, we made a change today. But I, I think that Mike and and Kyle uh, have had a good working relationship. I know that that there were changes made in the off season and changes made to the coaching staff, and the commitment that management had and the coaching staff had to, to starting the season and having success was 100% uh, pure and honest, and it just didn't work out that way.